Hi guys, this is the long form of the rear axle removal. So if you don't want to go over torque spec um, settings, you don't want to go over the, basically anything that's like long, like long and boring. So I don't like to say these will be boring, but they're going to be the longer version. So this is how to do stuff, you know, what, what you want to look out for. If you're not interested in that, go watch the short, short version. We'll gloss over a lot of that stuff. Hey guys, and welcome back to another another part of the, the, the polo build. And today on today's video, we're gonna be going over removal of the rear axle um, and how to do that, and polybushing and painting. And then from there, there will be other videos added on top of that. So, don't forget to click that like, click that subscribe and all that jazz. You know what to do. I hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, any feedbacks, more than appreciated. Right, so, okay. So what I've done now is I've, um, I've jacked the car up. Um, put axle stands on a high setting. I'll just show you the grip. So I've put the, I've put the axle stands there. So I'll show you again in a second. So what we need to do, we need to, remove that and what I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and fasten it back up so it doesn't leak because um, I don't want it leaking basically and as you can see look how rusty they are mega rusty so they'll be getting changed very soon I'll just go under the car and show you one second right I'm currently under the car and as you can see it's really rusty and again I don't think I showed you in the last one of the last videos how um, how messed up this exhaust hanger is this is why you should check your mats it was yeet it yeet so the nut and bolt there has come off so I need to redo that so once I've removed everything I can finally get to uh, where are we? Them nuts and bolts. There's one there and one there. Again, they're both going to be incredibly rusty. I'll also have to remove these. So these I'll just need unloosening. There's one here as well. I feel like the camera is really zoomed and it's not. There's one there, I'll have to undo that. And then obviously, I'll undo them. So, what I'm gonna do now, sorry that the camera's moving like really fast. I'm gonna undo these. Undo these, and then let's get this removed. All right, first things first. In gear. Chocks of wood under the tyres and brake off. I don't know why I did it slowly then. I don't know why I did it slowly. It's not like the back wheels are going anywhere. There. So these should hopefully move smoothly, which would also give me a little bit more play in the. Um, yeah, brake cable. So okay, so we're back under the car again. This one is driver's side, passenger side. And as you can see, now I've undone the cable. I'm gonna remove this. This one. Let me see. It's very simple. Do that and then focus in your bugger. There we are. And then let's remove the driver's side one. Again. One handed job, can I do it at the side? I'm used to doing it with one hand. Come on. One second. There we are. Out. Now, I will, I will zip tie this up. 
in a while. Um, that's the handbrake cable. And then we've got that one there, which I'm just going to leave on for now. Um, leave it on for now. So driver side, wheel jump. And then we've got passenger side, rear jump. It's all connected anyway. So I think we should be okay. I think the next job we need to do is at least these buggers off. I'll do that side, less sunny. Um, at least these two off now. You know and I know, this is gonna be a bugger of a job. A bugger. But, you know what, I best take the drums off first and then I can, I could take them off then. Right, so okay. <clears throat> so as you seen in that uh, last clip, um, the bolt snapped, or the Allen key snapped. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll show you what I've done. Um, so what I've done here, as you can see, it's, it's still connected. It's still connected. And the reason is I just don't want brake fluid pumping everywhere. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do um, with this, it's going to be a surprise. Um, but yeah, I just need that to be there, like that for now. And again, all I've got to do now is remove the bolts from here. Uh, and then I think that, I think we can drop it then. Um, so I can clean it up. So I'll, um, what I'm going to do though, I'm not going to show you the other side. I think it's quite self explanatory, especially if you're taking a drum off before. You've got the two bolts here one two and then as you can see that comes out um, on this one here you've got your, your two here and one goes right through there I believe that's a 17 and I think this one here it's a 19 <coughs> oh, excuse me right so once we've done that um, yeah I'm gonna get on with the other side Anything pops up that I think we need to be aware of, I'll um, I'll let you know. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is loosen these off while I'm here. So loosen one, two, three, four. No, I'll keep them on. I'll keep them on. Right, I'm going to leave that until last to remove that, and then I can put I can loosen them nuts off these ones here. You can just see it there. One, two. I'll move my hand, move them, and then yeah, we'll get on with it. Right, so both sides are now off. Um, I did act to manage to get that one off, um, and as you can see, I popped you up there. It's going to get bled anyway, so I am going to lose a bit of fluid. So now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do. I'm gonna loosen them off now. Let's loosen them off. I may need to drop this for some can have a see. See if I have to drop this. You know what? Actually I think I'll drop it. So I'm gonna show you now to drop them down. Right, so two nuts. 17 here. And 17 spanner. So they do need to one definitely does need to go inside there. And obviously you're gonna do that. Now my tripod's uh, broke, so you have to just deal with um, presuming you know how to undo it. So I'll be back in a minute for you. Basically, this is more just for a note, really, for when you when you do install yours. Make sure this uh, this part of the washer here goes on the outside and not the other way. Yeah. Right, one done. Um, one nut out onto that side. Right, second one's done. Can we pull this down a bit? Yes, we can. There we are. <laughs> I'll show you what. I'll show you little bits as you drop it. Right. So now, hopefully, that'll get us better access to the bolts. 
two minutes. Right, so looking at it from under the car, you've got your two bolts there, one and two, and you've got your one here. Use a big long bar. Yeah, your small ratchet won't work. Once you've got it loosened off, then you can use your ratchet. My plan really was from here were to just loosen them off, loosen off, and then use the ratchet. So that's my plan. Right, so as you can see, I've jacked, I've jacked the axle up and I've removed the one bolt, two bolt. This one's loose and this one's loose. Then in a second, I am going to lower it down. It is going to catch on the exhaust because I don't want to remove it because um, it's buggered. And as you can see, one minute, let me just zoom in. Look how perfect that bugger is. Right, so I'm gonna undo this and then, and then, and then we'll see. I'll keep my legs right out the way. Anyway, so it is relatively loose. You can do, undo it with a bolt here. Yeah. Um, I, I did use the strong arm to break it off, um, to originally break the bolts off, um, quite strong bolts, so that's that side off, let's do the other side, oh, I'm getting too old for this, one minute lads and girls, oh. Let's see now on this side. Oh, this one's verter. Convert to, I reckon I could vert to turn that. Sorry. Because I'm, I'm looking at what I'm doing and not really at the camera. That's why I get some funny angles. Oh, yeah, can you see that? Oh, all three are out. All I need to do now is, is um, let the jack down. And then what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to plug them back in. You know, so as soon as I've moved moved the um, jack, the axle out of the way, I'm going to screw them back in. So give us a second. So really, it's not in bad condition really, this. Um, I'm gonna put it up to the other one, so just bear with me. So this one's your, your polybush. It's a lot firmer than that one. Um, slightly bigger, the red one's slightly bigger. So this is who I've gone with. Poly bush. There's the part number. Now poly bush, actual poly bush. These guys. They recommend to install that you just soap you, um, dish soap. So that's how I'm going to do it. But first, obviously, I need to clean it all up and paint it. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And 19 was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just in 
it's taken me about three hours to get to about this point you know from taking it off the car to wire brushing it down so just gives you like a sort of time frame on how long you think it, you think it'll take you as you can see I'm manky so what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do now is paint it and then insert poly bushes which I think is gonna be really easy which I also need to sand the um, the burr and things up. Forgot the name. Totally blank. Right. All right. We're just going to start um, to paint the axle, and a colour reveal will be in three, two. Nice and white. So um, I've decided to go white just to because everyone goes black. bloody plane. Yeah, so I'm going to do a couple of coats of this. Um, I was going to, I ordered, and let me just show you what I've ordered, just cut out the camera and paint in. I ordered the Hammerite Smooth White on my last polo I did white and white as well and I really liked it. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, yes, do it all. Don't be shy. Honestly, just paint it. You can you can do this bit here. Yeah, I'm just wait. I'm just move. I'm just gonna yep. do that bit in a sec. So, so I'm not hundred percent sure how many coats we're gonna do. I'm probably just gonna do um, two, maybe three. Depends how I feel. Um, right, so I'll get back to you in a, in a few minutes once we've done. I'm going to help her now, just do this and then just get it done. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, so um, <clears throat> the first bit, as you can see, it's nice and white. Um, as you can see, there's paint in the holes here. But um, what I'm going to do is thread them, you know, um, tap, tap them. You know, like do, um, what do you call it now? Tap and die basically. I'm just gonna refread it because it, it, it was knackered anyway from when I lasted the drums. So, right, so, um, second core is, is done on this. Um, it probably looks better um, on film than it does on, on here, but again, no one's gonna see it really. 
and only really I will but I just wanted it white basically uh, black everyone does black you know there's still a few bits that need doing that need touching up but yeah as you can see it's gonna be really nice there tomorrow it's gonna rain oh well all right okay so what we're gonna do again we're gonna put um your washing up liquid on here make sure it's dead squish it and it's all over we're gonna fit it on what we're gonna do to help push it through we're gonna use this and a metal bar I'm free you. <laughs> okay. okay, so once once it's got to a certain point you need to hit it in with sort a of hammer just to flatten it out. Make sure it's flattened in. And then you're gonna place your pin in here. So again. Why don't you, oh yeah. There we are. I think it went in too much. That's fine. So what we're going to do now, we're going to install it into the car. Right, so I'm just going to undo these. I left them in the place from earlier. So from here now, I'm going to pop these back in. Just gonna just get them um, snubbed up for now, and then I can tighten them up. Let's start again. Yeah. I'm just gonna snug them up, get them that, get them tight, and then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna torque them up to setting um, later on. So I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it later. I will put the torque settings on the screen so you can see, but I'm not gonna do it now. There's a reason why I'm not doing it now, and you'll figure it out in the next few videos why. I'm not, I'm, I'm snug, snugging them up one at a time so it's not going to get, um, it's not going to get over tight in, in one area. Obviously I painted as well so. Um, Where's the axle? It's in the back. There we are. Would I have to film the axle as well? Bobby's my uncle. What? Pardon? Oh. Right. I'm going to use a strong arm now just to snug them up uh, and then I'll come back and tighten them up. Um, like I said, at a later date. Oh, it'll be today, but on the video, we have next week. That would I be could, good enough. I can see your face a little bit. <laughs> right. Okay. right, so normally you'd do this with a jack, but it's quite light, this axle. So I'm going to push it in with my hands. Oh no, you're hurting axle. <laughs> Then. There we are. 
Right, as you can see, I'm super happy with the job. Super happy. It literally took 30 seconds to do the whole job. 30 seconds, hang on. Three, three days, sorry, it took three days to do this job. Simplest job in the world took three days. And generally, do you find that is the case on these jobs? Jobs that take two minutes, three minutes to take hours or days. No, I'll let me show <coughs> The poly bushes are in. Everything's talked up to spec settings except the suspension. See in there. No, it don't matter, it don't matter anyway. As you can see, because <coughs> it took that long, <laughs> um, you can already see um, there's mud all over it. And again, with it being white, guess what? You'd expect that. So, so, let me tell you why it took three days. So obviously you got day one where I mentioned it took um, three hours to take it off and get to the point of sanding it, which yeah, that's fine. Um, it took longer because obviously filming. Day two was because um, fucking paint was still wet. Um, so I thought, fuck it, anyway, I'll just start trying to install it. Starts to install it. It goes as as it, as it should have done. Um, no problems. Until I start to fasten it to the body. And then, the bolts were threaded. I couldn't get the bolts in. So, um, went to went to the local parts store to get some bolts. And came back home again, as you do. And... The bolts weren't going in, so I ended up buying a tapping. One minute. I went to, basically I went to buy a tapping die set. Got it from the local um, B and Q. Um, so within 20 minutes of, of fre threading it, uh, within 20 minutes of like I said threading it and tapping it and dyeing it, Bob's uncle went back on, no problems. So. A, a couple of hours of job took three days. Anyway, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Um, do appreciate it, and I can say I'm dirty still. <sighs> Remember to hit that like, subscribe, and you know the rest. You know if you've enjoyed the content, put a comment. So bye bye. Just before you go, actually, do the reverse pro um, process of jacking your car down, putting the brakes and everything back on. And yeah, there's a reason why this is staying up, and you'll find out in the next video. Bye-bye.